Welcome friends, myself Dr. Sanjay Chinsule. We know that matrix is a very basic and important concept in mathematics. It has very huge applications in the field of science and technology. So in this video, we are going to learn matrix and order of matrix. Any rectangular arrangement of numbers enclosed by square brackets or round brackets is called as a matrix. See, this is a rectangle and this is a rectangular arrangement of numbers. If I enclose it in either square bracket or round bracket, it is called as a matrix. See, in this rectangular arrangement, we have some horizontal arrays and some vertical arrays. These horizontal arrays are called as rows and the vertical arrays are called as columns. In this matrix, in this way, we have three horizontal arrays that is three rows. First row is denoted by R1, second is denoted by R2 and third is denoted by R3. Also, it has four vertical arrays which we call as columns. First column is denoted by C1, second will be denoted by C2, third will be denoted by C3 and four will be denoted by C4. In this way, these matrix have three rows and four columns. The order of matrix is the number of rows by the number of columns. As we have previously seen the matrix having three rows and four columns, its order will be denoted by three by four, number of rows by number of columns. If A is equal to the matrix given as before, then the order of A is three by four. Now representation of elements of matrix, the elements of a matrix can be represented by their positions in the particular row and particular column. See in the previous matrix, if we denote it by capital A and we want the position of element A, then we have to first of all find in which row E belongs as E belongs to the second row. Similarly, we have to find in which row, in which column E belongs, C, the element E belongs to C3, that means third column, and element E is an element of matrix A, so it is denoted by letter A suffix 2, 3. This letter small a for the element belonging to the matrix capital A. If this matrix is denoted by capital B, we will use the uh, small letter B to represent the elements of matrix B. If the matrix is denoted by capital X, we will denote this letter small x to denote its element. Now, together with this small letter A, we have given two suffices, 2, 3. This first suffix 2 represents the row number in which that element belongs and the second suffix 3 represent the number of column in which that element belongs. In this way, we can denote the elements of matrix A by A11 is equal to 1 that means the element belongs to first row and first column of matrix A is denoted by A11 is equal to 1. This minus 2 is the element belongs to second row and first column of matrix A so it is denoted by A12. So A12 is equal to minus 2. This 0 0.3 is the element belongs to first row and third column of matrix A, so it is denoted by A13 is equal to 0 0.3. Similarly, we will get A14 is equal to 9. Now 1 by 4 belongs to second row and first column of matrix A, so it is denoted by A21 is equal to 1 by 4. This pi belongs to second row and second column of matrix A, so it is denoted by A22 is equal to pi. Similarly, A23 is equal to E, A24 is equal to 6. This root 2 belongs to third row and first column of matrix A, so it is denoted by A31 is equal to root 2. This 0 belongs to second third row and second column of matrix A, so it is denoted by 3 is equal to 0 and similarly A3 is equal to 3.97, A34 is equal to 5. After learning these topics, you will be able to identify the matrix and order of matrix, find the element of matrix from their representation, represent the element of matrix. In the description link, description of this video, you will find the link of test based on this video. You will get the certificate when the test will be successfully solved by you.